right, guys. How you doing? Two days in a row, a little tech issues. Running late because we had Dario call. I got to do this super fast, okay? Um, listen, QQQ is coming into view. I've been talking about this for months, 200-week moving average. It's coming. I don't see how you stop it. Do you get a couple bear market bounces in there? Maybe. I don't know. But uh, that's my target right there. 276 to about 261. And hey, the reason for that is Apple broke support at the 50 week moving average, uh, which uh, you can see pretty clearly over there. So I think we're setting into the fear stage here on the big caps and mega caps. It could take everything else down. Um, got two minutes left. Uh, let me just tell you I think Drio earnings were a huge uh, beat. They beat the top and bottom line uh, by they have seven analysts covering them, and they beat even the most optimistic forecasts on that. You can see the stock is up 13% in pre-market. You got to look at the bid, though, 487. So I've been buying this under $5. I may be buying more today. Uh, hopefully, Kodak will uh, rebound. I bought Celsius on the great earnings. So you can see... Uh, you know, it, it's pretty much a market-wide liquidation, but there are some cases where if you beat on earnings, maybe you could outperform. You can see that in Celsius. Uh, hopefully, we'll continue. We'll, we'll see that in Dario today. Um, I have some uh, follow-up questions for Dario, so I'm going to be reaching out to him and getting some questions answered. If you have any questions, you can let me know about that, and I'll go ahead and ask him so we can... Uh, get our community a little bit of an edge on that investment idea. But um, hey, man, there it is. This is finally happening. I've been talking about it for months. And don't be surprised if this continues to not only tag that, it could overshoot. But really, wanna, don't be surprised if it takes other assets down with it. When it does that, it's like a liquidation type event. Even a stock like Celsius could turn around and, and hit 30 after those great earnings. Even Dario, if it does great today, can turn around and hit new lows when you get that capitulation event to those uh, support levels, hopefully on the NASDAQ and the SPY and the Apple. So these are tough times. I've been through it in the 2000.com uh, bus. I've been through it in 2008. It does not get any easier each time. Definitely very difficult to navigate. So uh, hang in there and uh, I got to run.